Hey guys, Fuzzy here. In a game of horizontal progression, like Sea of Thieves, leveling does not make you better, but only matters to unlock cosmetics, titles, and rewards. This unique leveling system made this world special, the way we look at other ships and judge their skill based on what cosmetics they have equipped. Unlike MMOs with vertical progression, if you've played New World, for example, it doesn't matter how skilled you are or what cosmetics you wear. Level 60 hurts more than 40. This is what makes Save Thieves unique. We focus on showing off what we were to present our experience. And my favorite ones are sales. It's the most visible thing from a distance and makes the first impression. It doesn't matter how good they look as much as what it takes to get them. And that's how their value is measured in this community. Some only require gold, others need easy to achieve commendations. And only a few require lots of hard work and dedication. They are always available but are still rare to see around due to their challenging achievements which makes them stand out. But before we start, I know we have sales like Dark Adventure. They cost about 8 million gold, unlocked behind becoming pirate legends like the legendary and ghost sales. When they were first introduced, they stood out, but unfortunately, not anymore. It has recently become elementary to acquire gold, and becoming pirate legend is easier than unlocking some of these sales and their commendations, especially in server alliances and shrines. So, I have created a new character to show you what's available by the shipwright. So even if you are brand new, we can exclude all time-limited cosmetics that aren't obtainable anymore. This video will show you these sales and how to unlock them one by one, excluding rank-based ones like Pirate Legend and Emissary Rewards, so you can set sail and stand out from the rest by aiming for the rarest. Fuzzy here, bringing you honest guides and gameplays, so sit back, relax and enjoy. I chose the top 7 sails that are least common in the seas and ranked them based on difficulty, how common they are and how to unlock each of them so you can know what to focus on. Everything is in the form of chapters. Burning Blade Sails Requires the commendation, Banisher of Spectral Flame. This is unlocked by defeating Flameheart's flagship, the Burning Blade, 10 times. As soon as you see Trash Talking Flameheart, take your crew and get it done, as defeating him will also drop the Captain of the Damned Skulls, required for other more difficult commendations will be mentioned later. Ancient Tribute Sales You will unlock Hoarder of Ancient Vaults commendations by selling 50 Ancient Tribute Chests to the Gold Hoarders, which is required for these sales. Before introducing Shrines, these were much more difficult, as you could only get this chest from Gold Hoarder Vaults, and you get these by purchasing the Wayfinder Voyage from the Gold Hoarder after reaching level 25 in the Gold Hoarder Alliance. Before that, they won't be available for you unless you have a higher level in your crew to purchase them. Now. You can get Ancient Tribute Chests from these three Shrines. Shrine of Ocean's Fortune, Shrine of Tribute, and Shrine of Ancient Tears. As long as they are reset, they always offer a chest of Ancient Tributes that you can sell towards this commendation. Sales of Ashen Winds Sell 25 Ashen Wind Skulls. This used to be more difficult when Ashen Winds were introduced. The Red Storm World Event, as it was the only way to get them to unlock the commendation Hunter of the Ashen Winds. You had to defeat 25 spicy Taco Bell Lords, but now you can also get more than one after completing Fort of Fortune. The dropped maps from defeating Captain Skeletons reveal X marks the spot, and some of them are Ashen Wind Skulls. Golden Gatherer Merchant Sales These are uncommon in the seas because they look exceedingly okay. Acquire by unlocking 50 cabins from the sunken merchant ships using the key. You can receive these quests by purchasing the lost shipment's voyage from the merchants. But keep in mind, just like the Wayfinder voyages for the Gold Hoarder, these are only unlocked at level 25. The only issue with these is sometimes it's difficult to follow and actually find the key of the final cabin. Just like what happened with me here. Found the ship, but no key. Nonetheless, I'll be coming up with a solution for this soon, so keep an eye on this channel. Ghost Captain Sails One of my favorites. Acquired by selling 50 Captain Skulls of the Damned, which is the Hunter of the Damned Captain's commendation. These skulls can only be acquired in two ways. Defeating Flameheart, the world event mentioned earlier, or purchasing the Ghost Ship Voyage from the Order of Souls. Again, this voyage is only available at level 25. This skull will drop by defeating the Burning Blade or the final ship of the more accessible Ghost Fleet Voyage. And keep in mind, these skulls can be sold to the Order of Souls or the Reaper's Bones. It counts either way. Ancient Vault Sales You'll get the commendation Seeker of Ancient Vaults by unlocking 100 vaults using the totem, 
The only way to get these keys is to complete the previously mentioned Wayfinder Voyages from the Gold Order, available at level 25. These are some of the most challenging and time consuming, as 100 volts is not a small number. I have not completed these sales yet and still working on it during my streams. If you encounter these vaults, check the 1 minute video on my shorts channel on how to achieve them and complete them in less than 1 minute without using any medallions. Sales of the Silent Barnacle These can be unlocked by selling 300 barnacle chests for the commendation Hoarder of Barnacle Gold. This was ranked as most difficult since barnacle chests are random on islands, shipwrecks, skeleton ships and anywhere on the map. It is the only item of all previous commendations that we have zero control over. It's not a world event or a quest you can purchase. It's always best to keep an eye on these chests with barnacles scattered over them and make sure not to mistake them with the new coral chests. Let it be a pastime activity every time you sail the seas hunting for other commendations. Keep an eye on the horizon and eventually you will acquire 300 of these. Not to forget, this doesn't only unlock the sails, but the whole silent barnacle set. That is the outfit, tools, weapons and the entire ship set, except for the figurehead that we don't have yet. Upon unlocking any of these, the lock chain icon will disappear. Then you will be able to purchase them with the gold you have accumulated during your adventures. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, as I have a whole new set of fantastic guides coming your way. Also, please comment below on which one of these sails is your favorite. Fuzzy here, thank you for watching and happy sailing.